six. Salford Red Devils eight, a really bad result yet again at the DW Stadium for the Salford Red Devils. It really is their Achilles heel, isn't it? And, uh, well, Wigan smelt blood and got their just desserts in this one. Phenomenal performance, this one from Wigan. We've been saying for the last few weeks, you know, they have been building and building and building and now they sit top of Super League. That's right, they're ahead of the Catalan Dragons, of course, having uh, the Dragons gone down at Craven Park at 44 points for and against. Advantage now as well for Wigan. They're in fine, fine fettle indeed. This looks a tired Salford side, it has to be said. Uh, it looked as if Mark Sneed, maybe even Brody Croft, carrying Knox words, you know, where still rumours are abound really in terms of will crop be there next year or not but yeah like i say really tired outfit uh for the silver red devils i said last week on in the sheds and maybe the week before when you see ollie partington in the prop forward position you really do have to scratch your heads a little bit. When I saw that front row of Singleton and Partington for, for the Salford Red Devils, I did not fancy them at all for anything in this game, quite frankly. I just didn't think it was going to be their day. You know, Partington, 47 metres. That's all he gained. Singleton, Singleton 37. Wigan, Wigan are not daft. You know, they don't allow players to leave if they think they've got value. Uh, you know, and quite frankly, you no, know, Singleton is not as good as what they, they, you know, they brought in in terms of Dupree. Uh, as for Partington, a great loose forward. He is not a prop forward. And that's a major problem and a major concern as we go into these final rounds. Of course, a massive game now next week at uh, the Salford Community Stadium as Warrington Wolves come to town. Of course, Warrington, a big win on Saturday against the Castleford Tigers. That is now a pivotal game for Salford Red Devils. If they lose that, well, quite frankly, I think their chances, chances of playoffs have gone. And as for Warrington, of course, it would cement their position. But anyway, back to Wigan. We'll do that a little bit later on in the week in terms of in the sheds. This was quality. French again. What an, an incredible player Bevan French is. Yes, not on the score sheet, but some wonderful assists. He's second for Toby King. Nah, out the very, very top draw indeed. This man is unplayable for me. He is box office and he's probably the best player we've got in the division. There'll be Saints fans screaming Jack Wellsby at that point. Well, you know, that, that might just be your colours uh, playing playing tricks with your mind. I think Bevan French at this moment in time is on a different planet in terms of players in the Betfred Super League and he was at it superbly well in this one. Liam Farrell once again went in for a beautiful first try, took some scoring. You know, Farrell, he also went on a really good jinky run as well in the second half, as I recall. You know, Farrell yet again, he'll be in and around the the dream team. And, you know, that's the quality of Liam Farrell, isn't it? Liam Farrell has been a sensational servant to the game of rugby league and continues to be potent week in, week out. A brilliant assist from him. That man, Abbas Miski, of course, going in for his 21st try of the season. He's now in third place, uh, you know, trying his best to claw back the likes of Johnstone and, and uh, of course, Josh Charlie. But, yeah, what a season Abbas Miski has got. I think he'll probably miss out on the dream team to those two that I just mentioned. But nevertheless, this has been a stellar season for Abbas Miski. There's no doubt about it now. Wigan are in the box seat. For me, it's for Wigan to lose this one. Uh, that's the position that they're in next week. They go up against Leeds, of course. Leeds still in with a chance of a playoff. So that's going to be interesting. Then they go up against the Casford Tigers. I see no change at all there. Casford going to the DW. No, for me, not personally. And then, of course, that game at Lee Leopards. Nothing would give Lee Leopards fans, uh, you know, as much satisfaction. I think the closest thing uh, to the Challenge Cup win this season would be to stop the Wigan Warriors from winning the League Leaders' Shield. Wouldn't they just love that at the uh, the Leopards' den on the final round of the regular season? But like I say, as we sit here now, a brilliant, brilliant win this for Wigan. A quality win, a professional win against Salford. Salford must hate going to Wigan uh, every single season. It's just a really bad hunting ground for them. I've already mentioned, of course, Salford go up against Warrington next week in a must-win game now for the Red Devils. After that, they go to KR. Again, really difficult. And then the Catalan Dragons. I don't see Salford Red Devils in the playoffs. I think they're a tiring side. That is a really tough run of fixtures that they've got on the horizon. And like I've said, it's now for Wigan to lose. Wigan at the game, what were your thoughts about this? Is Bevan French as good as I'm saying he is? You let me know in the chat. Uh, but that's it. That's the first in the sheds of round number 24. Wigan Warriors 26. The Salford Red Devils 8. We'll see you next time.